is the third thousand years of traditional crafts that we've held, very much tied in with the Heritage Skills Centre. And it's almost a sort of showing people almost why we built the Heritage Skills Centre. And it's about that, you know, that and you don't get these incredibly skilled people unless you are training them and passing on those skills. Events like today, the Thousand Years of Traditional Skills, gives people the opportunity to see firsthand the, the work that actually goes on rather than just seeing it on the TV. They can be there, they, they've got the opportunity to have a wall tour. The well, Thousand Years of Traditional Crafts brings together about 50 craftspeople. Uh, we have a massive range. We've got uh, medieval timber hewing, chainsaw wood sculpture, blacksmithing, stone masonry, lace work, all sorts of crafts. Um, and they all come together for this one weekend so we can celebrate um, the wealth of crafts and skills that are out there that support um, heritage sites such as the castle and the cathedral. Well, I want everybody to enjoy it, but I think one of the things is when you see the children, we've got quite a lot of children's activities, and you see them all carrying things that they've made, and I think having a slightly better understanding uh, of of the buildings, that's, that's incredibly important. Obviously historic lead work um, is a dying art. We're trying to keep it going. Um, in today's market it's very difficult with all the um, different materials, stainless steel, zinc. Lead work is the old traditional roofing uh, material and we just want to carry on doing it. I restore vehicles and we're up against getting the youngsters in to do that because when we're gone, that's it. There'll be nobody to be able to do it. So I'm all for this. And to see it all in one patch here, very impressed again. You don't know who's beavering away, do you? In the backyard, making these things. Yeah, very impressive day. It's part of my ethos of keeping old traditions alive. So the more funding is available for keeping things like this open, the better on it. Well, early on this afternoon, we went in and we made these with the clay. Um, and also in there, there was the glass making as well, so that's what we saw. But it's really cool, it's really modern. Yeah, it kind of adds a new different sort of feature and a whole different dynamic to the, to the scene. To the castle to have a, a good look round, but the boys wanted to walk on the walls, so we thought they'd better do it with us. It's safer that way. I think it's essential to bring it back to life because places like this do need preserving. They're always well worth looking at. And Sometimes you wonder how they manage to make some of the stuff that you see in the old castles. And today, things like this really bring it to life. It's been really enjoyable today, and, and for us at Robert Woodhead, just to be able to demonstrate to people what we do as a company and how we help with the, with the heritage industry, if you like. 